In this video, I will show you how to fix uh, bugs connected to the calculation error when we are chopping the tree but the amount of wood is not increasing beyond one, meaning that we have some bugs. But again, if we pause our game, we have no exception in our console. So let's get started. I'm going to pause my Unity project and what I want to do is first uh, of all, I want to check how this value is set because I know that there is some issue with the calculation of this value. So this is part of the UI, so I'll select the canvas, UI, wood panel, and somewhere in here I will find a script called resource UI, and basically this should uh, set the value. So I will open it up, and I will see that this contains a text uh, reference, and it has a set amount which actually sets this text reference. So I can be sure that this is responsible for setting the value of the UI component. So whatever method calls this is creating a bug. So I will right click on this and I will use find all references. And at the bottom, I will see all the methods that calls this, uh, this script. I will select uh, this one because I have only one of those. But basically, again, you will have to do some research to find the logic that might be responsible for this bug. And I am in the collect method in the resource collector script. So somewhere in here possibly there is a bug. So again, I am not sure where. The best idea is to set the breakpoint at the start and see what values do we get from the data tips. So I will again attach this to Unity. And I will go back to Unity to start the game. Okay, the project is working. So let me select the worker. And again, I have been transferred to the previous uh, breakpoints, I will select the breakpoints tab and I will remove this worker breakpoint and I will click continue to continue executing my uh, game and again as you can see UNT was triggered we have seen that the worker has walked towards the uh, tree and now we have this collect method running and we have this breakpoint here int amount equals resource object git component and uh, collect so I will use this step into arrow and now suddenly i am teleported to the resource script to the collect method now step into basically allows us to step into the code that executes this logic so again we can use step into or f11 to go step by step in those methods but i am not quite interested in this destroy resource provides feedback methods so what i can do is use this step out or shift f11 to go out of this method and instead of using uh, f11 or step into i can use step over to just kind of get the amount here and check the code and as you can see we can now verify that collect resource is zero and i'm setting it to the amount so you might already know the issue here but again let's say that we are not sure what is going on here and we can of course step uh, one step down and kind of again check the data tip here instead what we can do is select a pin here to pin it here to the uh, window of visual studio and now we are going to be able to basically see what is the amount here now for the more elaborate object we can also pin the specific parameter and also we can use watch window if you do not have it opened again debug windows and you should have this watch windows you can have multiple of those we need to only have one and what we can do is add an item here so just click here and type the collected and again we can access all the fields in the scope of this method i'm going to select collected resource click enter and now i am monitoring the value here and it will be displayed even if i go to the next or another script here i can use again this show next statement arrow to go back to the code that is being invoked but the watch window is constantly showing me the value uh, and the data tip only shows me the value if i am in the resource collector script uh, so let's continue and our character will chop the tree again and this code will run again and we can see that we can step over so using f10 and the value did not change so the issue is that the collected resource is set to the amount and i wanted to have this plus equals amount so we have probably fixed it so let's stop the game let's stop unity project and let's start it all again so i'm going to go back to visual studio attach it to unity go back to unity and press play okay the game is working i'm going to again ask the worker to chop the tree 
and I am transferred to this method, to this breakpoint, and you can see that now collect resources data tip is red, and we have this value here shown, as well as we have our watch one showing the collected resource value. This is not red in this case, but the red informs us that the value has been changed. Now the data tip informs us that the value was changed from the previous debugging session. Previously it was one, now it is zero. Let me step over it using this F10 or this arrow. And now, as you can see again, this is red, but the uh, value in the watch also is red. We can see that this is one. Okay, so now this works as expected, just as before it worked. Let me uh, press continue. And let's see, it works again, this step. And let's see, now it is turning to be two and the watch window is showing us two. So basically we know that we have fixed this calculation issue in our code. Now one more useful tip to use with the breakpoints is that we can select the breakpoint, right click on it and add a condition to this. And we are going to be able to, for example, type that collected resources should be equal to two. And only then if we press enter, only at this condition, if the collected resource is equal to two, this breakpoint will uh, appear. So if I press continue, as you can see now collected resource is to in only then this breakpoint will be triggered and if it is greater or less or not equal to two basically the code will never pause on this breakpoint basically we can uncheck it and go back to the default breakpoint okay the game is playing let me select the, the worker let me chop the the tree and as you can see now the ui value is correct we have chopped three times and we have three wood um, uh, resources added and now we have six so this is working correctly. Great. So now you should have a better understanding on how you can debug your code easily without having to debug.log to your console different things from your code. If you have enjoyed this video series, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. It would help me a lot. See you in the next video.